In this riff, I want to talk to you about a quantum physics lesson. And it's about a concept that is called quantum tunneling. Now, what is quantum tunneling? Before I refer to the experiment, always remember that the basics of all quantum mechanics is that all particles, all atomic structure in the universe, or the known universe currently, or as far as the data that we know so far, has shown that all atomic structure, particle physics, at a quantum level, vibrate. Um, through quantum physics, they tell us that all particles exist uh, in what is called particle wave duality. Uh, it means that a ball of energy or a or just think of an electron, this really tiny, small um, ball of energy. It's, it actually, it factually is a, a ball of energy, but it's also, at the same time, it's a wave of energy uh, spread thin through space and time. And to be clear, that wave of energy is actually spread thin through all space and time. This may be a little hard to comprehend, um, to grasp, but it, the evidence, the scientific research has demonstrated that it is true. It's factual. It is, it's no longer a debate. Is essentially unanimous amongst quantum physicists. The particles of energy, electrons, and even smaller particles at a quantum level vibrate because they exist in what is called particle wave duality. They exist as a ball of energy, a tiny ball of energy, defined in time and space, while at the same time, the particle is a wave of energy, not defined through, uh, not defined by time and space, but spread thin through time and space. Now, keep that in mind. You know, ponder about that, think about that, and because of the behavior of particles at a quantum level, they behave a certain way, and there's this one specific behavior that has been defined as quantum tunneling. And, and why talk about this? Why I refer to this scientific, complex um, understanding of how atoms work? And I'm going to suggest that it's highly relevant to your own personal awareness of how you function, of how you work, or of your own personal abilities. So to illustrate quantum tunneling, think of... Think of yourself, you holding a baseball or a tennis ball, and you throw it against a wall of resistance. Uh, maybe it's a wall in your house, concrete wall, a metal wall, depending on the structure. We all know it's just going to bounce right back unless the, the missile being thrown against the walls, it's thrown with enough force that will go through. That's uh, common sense. Well, in quantum tunneling, when they take particles and they shoot them against a wall of resistance, regardless of the wall of resistance, they have found that the particles, even though they are not thrown with enough force, they will go through the wall of resistance anyway. They literally have been seen as being teleported from one side of the wall to the other side of the wall. Some of them will bounce back. The other ones will just go through the wall as if, as if they were ghost particles. Now, why is they able to do this? Well, again, it has to do with the, with the concept that energy lives in a, or, or exists in a paradoxical duality called particle wave duality. 
So again, bringing it back to reality or practicality. What does it have to do with the way we function and how can you use this data to integrate it with what you already know to accomplish your dreams or goals or manifest what you desire. It's highly relevant because we are made of atoms. We have an atomic structure that vibrates. Our entire body structure vibrates through all time and space. This uh, is based on particle wave du duality, of course. So, if atoms can go through a wall, the question is, can we go through as easily through a mental wall of resistance? What do I mean by this? So, I'm not suggesting that you should attempt to go through a literal wall. But consider that everything is energy everything is something it has been said that thoughts are things um, if thoughts are things and like everything else in the universe everything is energy so then also your thoughts are energy so when we picture an, an end result a dream, a goal and we see it in our mind's eye, in our imagination. But we see and feel a wall of resistance. And then we may begin to think, well, that's impossible. That could never happen. You may have doubt. You may have disbelief. You may think about, how could that ever happen? And immediately we may begin to, you know, uh, forget about that goal or a dream if we feel it's too big. What I'm suggesting with quantum tunneling is that regardless of the wall of resistance, your particles of energy, your atomic structure can go through any wall of resistance, even the ones you perceive in your mind. So imagine that the dream or goal that you desire Maybe it's a bigger home. Maybe it's more money or business, a relationship. Whatever it is that you want. It's on the other side of the wall. Well, according to quantum tunneling, because particles vibrate through all time and space, and particles can decide to go through the wall anyway, then you essentially already exist on the other side of the wall. And this is the same explanation that is given of why particles can do that. The particles that get shot through to the wall or against the wall are able to go through the wall. It's because those particles of energy are already on the other side of the wall. So to illustrate, if you dream of a a having a larger home or maybe it's a car a luxury car or a sports car whatever it is that you want to accomplish in your life and you see your present circumstances and you can't see how it could happen well as long as you use your imagination and you picture the end result and as long as you persist and keep shooting those particles of energy against the wall, you will go through that wall. The wall is essentially an imaginary perception. It's something that we are making up in our mind. It really does not exist because the laws of physics at a quantum level are suggesting that you already own, that you already have, that you essentially already exist as having that which you imagine, whether it's good or bad. This is why the New Thought Movement has emphasized to encourage you to be careful uh, on what you're dwelling on, on your thoughts and your imaginative uh, thoughts. 
So really consider that and ponder about that because it's it's a deep statement. It has um, great implications and it's practical because now you realize you don't have to wonder whether it could happen because the laws of physics are already telling you that at a quantum level you are already there you already exist as having that which you have imagined and that the wall of resistance that you see it's penetrable you can go through and Nikola Tesla actually referred to a principle of energy when he referred to um, the possibility for um, biological immortality for humanity because <clears throat> he said that that humanity was aching for uh, immortality the secret to immortality beauty you know, and youth and he said that there is inexorable agents that prevent a mass from changing suddenly that its velocity will resist the force of the new thought until time gradually modifies human thought so so let's take that into consideration as well he was saying <clears throat> that there are um patterns of energy that may resist the change so practically yes you gone you when you think to yourself where you are now and when you consider you, the the dream or goal of your future of your future then you may begin to feel bad you may begin to imagine all this uh, walls of resistance like I don't have the money I don't have the know-how, I don't have the job, I don't have the expertise, I don't have the education. And you begin to perceive this wall. Nikola Tesla calls them inexorable agents that prevent your mass from changing. But that it is time that will gradually modify your thoughts about that perception. So as long as as you persist as long as you ponder of, about it as long as you imagine yourself you are literally sending out frequency into the universe and you are programming your entire atomic structure to be teleported into that reality so there's something for you to think about something to consider and this goes in line with um, all the riffs. So consider listening to those. Integrate that information with this. And if you haven't already done so, I highly suggest that you add a copy of Blueprint for Immortality, the Quantum Code for Life Secrets to Success to your own library. That you read that over and over again. So as to develop the mental habits of thinking and imagining positive outcomes for your own life because that's where all success begins it's super important so put a like on the video um, if you have an observation something that you appreciated from what is being said uh, put a comment tell me what you think about this share this with uh, those you think will benefit from it as well Look forward to my next riff, and I look forward to hearing from you and your comments. All right, take care.